Hey guys, Paul, Inventor 3 here. My antenna's still up there good. Uh, let's circle around to this side. My pole. Uh, it looks like it's touching those branches, but they're in the background. They're not. Next spring I'll be cutting those branches down here. We can get that up higher. Oh, and uh, don't tell my wife, guys, but I bought this identical pole to put at that end so I could raise that end really high. <laughs> yeah, don't tell my wife. She's not going to be happy with that. Uh, those branches you see are in the background. They're not going to interfere with me raising that end much higher. <laughs> All right, anyhow. Uh, oh. <clears throat> oh, let me turn off my jet heater. I want to say happy holidays to everybody. Uh, it is Saturday before uh, New Year's. Uh, hang on one second. Okay, had to turn off my jet heater here. We're entering the lab. Uh, it was making a little too much noise. I'm going to be using this oscilloscope here to show you guys in this video today. A good reading of uh, the frequencies that are incoming on that antenna that I just showed you. Uh, as my regular subscribers know, I was having problems with operating the oscilloscope. I'm self-taught. Uh, I put my nose to the grindstone. I, uh, three solid days there over Christmas. I think I got the basics of it. Uh, this is not the best scope to learn with. It's kind of intricate. It has a lot of options. I would have preferred to have this old heath kit here, but uh, it didn't work for me. I got it for five bucks. No big deal. I took a chance. It's not working. So we're using this one. Okay, guys, here's the first thing I want to show you. <clears throat> Let's zoom into that a little bit. Uh, Now, I turn my lights off, I turn my jet heater off. The only thing that has power is this oscilloscope and my camera. Uh, it comes from my house. Uh, it's in my kitchen. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that is on this line. As it is only my kitchen, ceiling fan, which those items are not on, and my... Uh, uh, my laundry room washer and dryer and they are not on so nothing else is on on this line and I have all my lights off in my lab so you could see there's a certain frequency and as you can see there's like a secondary frequency though because everything's getting uh, very large very small very large very small so there's a frequency within a frequency there. Uh, let me show you a few more. Let's zoom in on this. Okay, we're going to change our sweep time division. Seems like every other one is faulty on here, but there's the signal. As again, you can see it gets uh, very big, getting small actually bigger again but it's off the camera uh, they're zooming in more and you can see the frequency is flickering all over the place uh, even if I put my trigger on fixed it's still very wavy and this is on auto my trigger mode fixed auto all right let me show you one more thing all right let's see let's zoom back out to there now I'm going to change the uh, level of my slope position and from what I'm reading this should change the triggering time uh, hang on one minute I'll be right back let me make some adjustments 
here we are zoomed in again we had that we'll zoom in and we have that and we adjust again the slope and it's interesting how it goes to that let's see hold on adjusting slowly adjusting Uh, all right hang on a minute we'll adjust a little bit more so it's just, it's uh, interesting that you see this wave it looks like it's a wave inside of another wave if I zoom in zoom in and again we adjust our slope look at that There's Claire, just at the other direction. It's like there's many waves in there. There's a lot of noise. Zoom out. Look at it. I just keep adjusting the slope, the timing, the triggering. Zoom out. Or I'm sorry, zoom out. As we adjust the triggering on this, it just instantly goes in noise after a certain point. So that's good, guys. We got waves inside of waves inside of waves. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff there. Uh, who's to say exactly where the sources are coming from? Are they man-made? Uh, we have tens of thousands of satellites circling our planet today. We make a lot of man-made uh, radiation, but there's also a lot of radiation hitting our planet from the cosmos. Uh, black holes, uh, stars, uh, pulsars, quasars, etc., etc., etc. Very, very strong uh, uh, radiation uh, hitting our planet even though we have this magnetosphere that's protecting us from a lot of it I still believe there might be more radiation hitting our planet from the cosmos as there is from our own man-made radiation but uh, who's to say exactly today time uh, today times uh, but anyhow guys okay that's about it. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon.